Hello, Flight Gaze Church. Uh, we're here in my home uh, with my beloved wife, and uh, we just want to tell you a little bit of our story. His name is Juan. My name is Juan. Uh, my beloved wife is Kara. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm thankful to the Lord that uh, He gave me great parents who were always very uh, giving to others and to help others. But as I went along in my life, especially with my time with my wife, and as we went to church more and more, the Lord did challenge me to think and say, I know you like to give, but are you even giving the 10 that I command? And so that was the first time I think he really asked myself, said, hold on, let me talk about, about this with my wife and think about what the tent means and what does this even entail to our life? So as as I start experiencing in my heart this change to say, no, the tent is very important, it's the minimum you can give back to the Lord for all the things He has ever given me, uh, it became a change in me. And so uh, my wife was already convinced about it, and so we start doing it uh, more purposefully, uh, more regularly, making sure that we did it all the time. And uh, but then, as always, the Lord has an amazing story for all of us, and then He challenged me, or us, I should say, both of us, to even give more. And so He challenged us with our business. My wife and I have a business of, for 13 years, and maybe around, what, seven years ago? I don't remember. remember. Anyway, the Lord said, what about your business? Are you even giving with your business? And I said, why do you want me to give with my business as well? This is interesting. How am I gonna tell my wife this? And so what's beautiful about it is that uh, my wife prays a lot and I pray a lot and we pray together. And uh, I came to her and I said, the Lord is telling me that we need to give with our business as well. And so my wife said, I believe so too. <laughs> and she was in accord with me. And, um, the first year we started giving, we said, we're gonna give this amount. And we were a little bit scared because we we're like, what do we do? Is it gonna, where do we put it? And so we gave it to the church. And all of a sudden, at the end of the year, we look back and what we have told ourselves to give, uh, the Lord gave us the same amount back. It was a, in growth. In growth. It's amazing. It's like, uh, I gave you what you told me to give, yet you gave it back to me. I don't understand how that mathematics compute in your mind, but the Lord was just showing me, trust me with the things that I already gave you. Give them to me and give them to the calling that I have for you. And all things will be one way or another. We have been tremendously blessed in... And I, we didn't even know what story to share when when uh, when the church asked us to share a story about giving because there's been so many times when like the Lord has challenged us very specifically to give in a very specific and certain way and we've thought oh my goodness that's crazy no we can't do that this is very scary and then we've decided to do it anyway because the Lord has been so sweet to us to give us so much unity in prayer about giving um, and then we've just been blown away um, by how we've seen the Lord multiply and restore and move and just do incredible things in the lives of other people and in our lives and now it's I mean like we we can't imagine not giving we can't imagine not praying and thinking okay Lord now what's next what other risk can we take how much more can we get what else can we do uh, it's been incredible but all of it started with obedience with taking the time to pray pray with our spouse if you know if you're married and then listening, hearing him, and then actually obeying him, even if it sounded crazy, you know? And so uh, gift after gift after gift, blessing after blessing has been poured into our lives. Relational blessings, spiritual blessings, uh, motivational blessings, material blessings, you name it. The Lord is so creative in the way he gives us gifts, but, uh, but so many blessings have poured into our lives and it all traces back always to that obedience. Uh, and so we just want you to be encouraged to join us in uh, listening to God, obeying Him, and just watching expectantly to see what He's going to do. So thank you. Thanks for hearing us out and our story.